So let's discuss lesson 1 in module 6. This is illustrating and distinguishing between simple and compound interest. This knowledge on simple and compound interest will enable you to compare the interest gain through the process of illustrating between simple and compound interest. Thus, this lesson will enable you to distinguish and understand the aforementioned concepts. Suppose that you are given the problem. You receive 50,000 pesos from your OFW aunt last week. You plan to invest this amount in a bank for 5 years. If Bank A will offer 3% simple interest rate per year, while Bank B will offer the same rate but compounded annually, which bank do you think will you invest and why? So here in this problem, we need to see if which of the banks has greater or more earning based from your interest gain. So let's start this one in bank A. Let's see if how it comes from 3%. So you have 3, you divide it by 100. That is 0 0.03 or you can get the interest rate in decimal by just moving twice to your left the decimal point. So you will move it twice to your left. The answer is 0 0.03. So this is how to calculate the simple interest gain in the first year and you have the time which is 1 because it's 1 year. So the answer is 1,500 pesos. So the maturity value we have here now, the principal amount plus the interest gain is 1,500 for the first year. You have in the first year, your total investment is 51,500. However, in the second year, you have the same principal amount. You will just simply multiply it by same rate, which is 3% or 0 0.03 times 2. Because your time is now 2 years, the answer is 3,000 pesos. Therefore, you will add your principal plus your earning, which is 3,000 pesos, and it will result to 53 thousand pesos in the third year with the same principal amount of money you will just change the number of years which is three so you have the interest gain is four thousand five hundred pesos and the maturity value is now fifty four thousand five hundred pesos by adding the principal for three in years the in the fourth year same as usual you will just change the number of years so it will become four so, the answer for the interest gain is 6,000 pesos. By adding the principal and the interest gain, your maturity value is now 56,000 pesos. In the fifth year, we will be multiplying the principal as well as the rate and the time which is 5 years. Therefore, our simple interest gain for 5 years is 7,500 pesos. You will add now the capital which is 50,000 pesos and the interest gain which is now 7,500 pesos so that we can get 50,000 pesos plus 7,500 is 57,500 pesos. So the simple interest gain is now 7,500 pesos by just subtracting our total investment for the first year by the principal amount which is 50,000 pesos. So that is your interest gain in Bank A. Let's now have the interest gain for Bank B. So in our illustration for compound interest, we'll start in the first year. So we have here the principal amount of money invested is 50,000 pesos. You will just simply multiply it as what you did in a simple interest. Simply multiply it by the rate which is 0 0.03 and 1 which is your time for one year. 
the interest gained is 1,500 pesos and the total investment for the first year or the maturity value is 51,500 pesos. In the second year, how will we get the total investment within the year? So from your principal amount of money, you will base it from your uh, total investment in the previous year times your rate. So the answer is 1,545 pesos. The maturity value is 53,045 pesos. In the third year, we will base this one from the previous in the second year the total investment is 53,045 pesos times 0 0.03 times 1 so we have the interest the compound interest which is 1,591 pesos and 35 centavos so our maturity value is 54,636 pesos and 35 centavos. You will multiply it by the rate which is 0 0.03 and 1 as the year. So our compound interest is 1,639 pesos and 9 centavos. Therefore, the total maturity value that we have for the fourth year is 56,275 pesos and 44 centavos. How about in the fifth year, what will be our total investment? So we have 56,275 pesos and 44 centavos from the previous maturity value times 0 0.03 times 1. So the compound interest that we have for five years is 1,688 pesos and 26 centavos. Therefore, the total investment that we have for five years is 56,275 pesos and 44 centavos and the compound interest. So therefore, our compound interest gained for bank B is uh, 7,963 pesos and 70 centavos. Therefore, if we, you will compare your interest gained from bank A and bank B, your conclusion will be bank B offers the greater earning because the, uh, the interest that you gain in bank B is more than the interest that you gain in bank 